Gabby, I hope you had fun telling this pervert that that baby he is. Now he running behind Abigail, thinking this baby really he is knowing damn well it's Chad. As y'all say that's Chad, baby, okay. Mm-hmm. Gabby, I hope you had your little chuckle. I hope you had your little fun. You don't realize what the fuck you just done. You got that pervert on Abigail ass, and you know he already obsessed with one of her altars. So that's only um by default he gonna be attracted to her. Now you talking about some his baby? Ooh, Gabby, you ain't shit for that when... <laughs> I don't know how Gabby, Abigail gonna put up with that one for 18 years. She better go ahead and get a damn DNA test and switch them results again. That's the only way you gonna get rid of him. Cause he ain't going no motherfucking well. Now that Gabby didn't open her big ass mouth talking about some that show child. Gabby pregnant. I mean Abigail pregnant. Now watch she start dreaming about... He won't leave that Gabby shit alone, would he? And I bet you if it have a whole damn episode about that, this is me and Gabby, baby, not none of yours and Chad's. I can see it now, and I don't want to hear it. Your rights as a father. Mm -hmm. You know what, Stephen? I'm not going to need much dignify that with a response. I'm going to let that one slide. I'm going to turn like I didn't hear that. When your right says a father, even if you did be lucky enough to get her pregnant, you don't want that trouble. And you and Chad going to fight Wednesday or Tuesday or some other time this week. I can't wait to see y'all two um, trip up each other's feet. I'm waiting for that one. I'm dying to see that one. I thought I didn't see that vi that picture and that video. I want to see y'all two slip over y'all feature two stooges. Oh, Lord, sonny, don't tell me you're a boo-boo the fool, too. Meaning that you sitting up there waiting patiently to get your CEO position back from Victor, waiting for his damn approval, which you're never gonna get. He liking Chad right now, and I don't think you're gonna get your position back, buddy. I don't think not that easy, you will. Sonny, don't be a boo-boo the fool for... Sonny, don't be a boo-boo the fool for Victor. Please move on with your life and stop and stop trying to get that CEO position. Cause as you can see, Brady got tired of that shit. You seen he moved on with his life. I advise you to do the damn thing. Don't be no boo boo fool for um for Vic if you want to. That's a miserable life to live, and I don't want to see you miserable, Sonny. Oh, trust me, Paul. Sit back, relax, have a cocktail or three. Sooner or later, your little friend there that came back up his damn mind still lying to you talking about something. He ain't going to stop loving you even if his feelings come back for, um, for son. And trust and believe he lied about that and he lied about how um Leo disappeared. A whole damn body and a whole damn car. Trust me. Sit back and relax. The truth will be revealed when Leo Punk is beside to tell y'all the truth. But trust me, he'll be back. Will you can you barely get memories now? I, I guarantee you, you won't forget this one. You gonna remember this memory when Leo get done with you. You and Scary Sonny, and I heard how scared Sonny was too. So. And all I got to say about this, not that Paul suspicious, Will, Sonny, y'all can't even much get rid of the evidence, um, right, y'all can't even much get rid of the evidence correctly without fucking up. So imagine how I would go all the way back behind y'all when this whole bullshit start, started at the Kiriakis Mansion to now when y'all so-called dispose of the body. Paul to solve this case so quickly, Will, I wouldn't say nothing to make him suspicious. You know your ass not good at, um, well, this ain't the first crime you ever committed. Let's just say you fucked up more times than you did the last time you committed a crime. Let's just say that. E shooting EJ, remember that? When, if it went for your mama, boy, you would have been locked up and, and the key would have been thrown away.
and here you go trying to commit another crime. Then you come bringing the father of your child with you. Help well, you was there to help Sonny out. And both of y'all fucked up. Two peoples and y'all still couldn't get it right. I cannot and will not with you nor Sonny. And good luck trying to, um... Well, if y'all get slow, say them PD, PD getting um, involved in this case of Leo disappearance, y'all have a one in the ten shot of getting away with it. Them motherfuckers can't and must find their own goddamn toes. Now, how the fuck they gonna solve a damn case? So y'all might have a chance. Y'all better hope Paul leave this case alone. That's all y'all better hope for. Now, didn't I just tell you, um, Sonny, to stop being stupid for, um, Titan? I just told you just not so long ago, stop being stupid for Titan and I see in your position. I hope you learn. Now your best friend running your own damn company. Cause no thanks to Leo, he didn't fucked up your whole reputation. Victor don't trust your ass. Good luck trying to make him regain that trust he had in you once upon the time before Leo interfered in your life. Sonny, go find you another occupation. Cause you never get now see your position back. You best let in Brady tight spot now. Begging, pleading, and hoping he wants to he, um, trust you again but you can get that CEO position back, which is probably not going to happen because you just heard what he said, right? So he don't plan on giving you back that job, never ever, Rary. So I advise you to go find you another occupation. Or better yet, accept whatever job he give you and forget about that CEO position because all trust broken. Sonny, move on with your life. Oh my gosh, Kevin. You let Jennifer push your ass into submission. Granted, I know she annoying as hell. Granted, I'm pretty sure you probably got some stuff you don't want to know about that. You don't want her to know about, about you. But come on now, buddy. You finna turn your... Well, I hope you live a wonderful life, cause with the fit to have you taken care of in the back room, so I hope you enjoyed while you were still breathing, cause trust and believe with the fit to get rid of you. Ooh, Stephanie, you finna work on my goddamn nerves, talking about that baby was made out of love, bitch, well... You mean I bet what love out of force and somebody losing their mind and couldn't give you consent, but yet you took it? Boy, if you don't shut your damn mouth, talking about I remember exactly when we made that. Mm -hmm. Lord, he finna make me sick to my. Lord Jesus. And that's why I think he really is the father. And somehow them results switched over to Chad. And yeah, it'll come out sooner or later who the real father is. Oh my God, son! It stop being thirsty for victory. His damn respect, Vic. Son, it don't be a Brady part. Oh my God, Sonny, I thought you had more respect for yourself than this. I don't need your charity. I just want my position back. I earned that position. You can't take it away, Sonny. Sonny, there's plenty more positions than Titan. Go find you one and be happy. I don't know why y'all rich people think y'all supposed to be the head bitch of the company and think that's where y'all gonna get all y'all respect from. When it's earned, not just for you having a big position in a damn office and y'all just run with that and y'all got to have that CEO spy. Sonny, if you don't go work from the bottom and work your ass back up to the top and shut up and stop being Thursday, you giving him, you showing him that you care too much. And he finna exploit your ass just like he was exploiting Brady. Son, it don't give him too much of your damn business. Then he go with the empty ass thread. Look, I understand why uh, my Brady left now. I might do the I might do the same. Oh God, Sonny, you so thirsty. And now Victor then scared the life out of you. Now you thinking about, was that a good move for me? Sonny, don't be an idiot. And don't be thirsty for no CEO position. Let Chad have it work under him. Earn your scrites back and that's what you want to do. Get the CEO position back. If not, Sonny, just move on with your life and stop begging Victor for that damn spot. Because don't, don't do Brady. 
it took Brady almost a damn eternity for him to get it through his skull that he never gonna get that CEO position. I hope you catch on a little bit more quicker than he do. Jesus, Lord, this man still delusional over Gabby with... Stephen, if you don't forget about that and move the hell on with your life and go find another woman to go chase after, now you want this baby to stick around because you feel that that's a part of her and what y'all had was real. Stephen, I'm not for the entertain you and your delusions. Goodbye, Stephen. You turning my stomach and upsetting my stomach and I cannot and I will not. Don't you fall for that, sonny. Go on out in the open world. See what the world got to offer, to offer for you besides victory and that money. Money don't make you happy. Son, go find you another man. Better yet, stop wandering behind Will and hope he remember your ass. Go out in the world. Go out into the real world, not Victor's little bubble he got y'all in. Go out in the real world. Go get some fresh air. Maybe go to a club or something. You know, go live your life like you're supposed to. You too goddamn young to be worrying about a damn CEO position in a company. That ain't get you nowhere in life. That's why you are single, long, and miserable now, son. And son, and go out into the real world and see what there is to offer you. Besides, on the Victor damn thong and tongue. Please go find you something else better to do with your time. Oh my gosh, now he trying to use psychology on... <sighs> Stefan, you and Gabby with a white baby ain't staying around. First of all, that ain't you and Gabby with a white baby, but okay, you fool that this is your baby. You trying to convince this girl to keep this baby when y'all ain't even much make love to have this baby. You was with the Y, not the I. And you was with Abigail, and you were with an altar. So, Stefan, get over your damn self, would you? She ain't gonna keep that baby no matter what. I mean, you was trying your heart. I give you an A for effort. I really do, cause you working on my damn nerves, and I ain't got nothing to do with your ass. And Stephen, the fact that you think this your child, and you trying to convince this woman to hold on to this child when that woman feel raped and violated, cause she lost her mind. You was playing in that woman head and body and soul. And now, Stephen, you doing absolutely too goddamn much. Somebody need to come and knock the shit out of you for this mess. I can't believe you actually bugging this woman that you better than I ever because I don't want no charge it above my head because you know you can go to jail for this career because you know um, the statute of limitations ain't up for that right. You technically raped that woman. I don't care how cute you try to make it sound or what kind of seasoning you put on it. You technically raped that woman, Stephen. That woman was not in her right mind. She can give you consent even if she tried to. We don't care if it was Gabby with a Y. We talking about Abigail with an L. You technically raped that woman. You gonna have to live with that. And now the fact that you had the audacity to be sitting up here telling her, don't get an abortion, really? When you ought to be helping her get the abortion, you telling her not to get one, for you and Gabby with a wild memories can carry on with this baby, really? Okay, Stephen, you have fun with that one. Now, Stephen, now you taking the shit too far, and now you fucking pissing me off for real now. Bitch, you didn't give a fuck about Abigail at all. You didn't care about her. Look how many people tried to help her out. Look at how many times you prevented her from getting out here. Talking about some, you was trying to help her, but her not to hurt herself or harm herself. Remember that she killing Andre. Mm-hmm. Let's run with that. Let, let, let's have fun with that when I was trying to prevent you from harming yourself or doing worse harm to yourself, remembering that you killed on Boy, give that shit up. You was only thinking about you and Gabby with a damn why. Hope tried to help you. Marlena tried to help you. Kate tried to help you. Who else tried to help you?
You ever had them in the goddamn, um, them tunnels, them cancerous ass, um, tunnels y'all got in that the mayor mentioned just cause you didn't want the truth to come on. All the way in China, China, well, Japan, you was all the way there with Gabby with a wine. Bitch, you was not trying to protect no damn Abigail. You are trying to protect you and Gabby with a wild love. Stephen, go play with your damn self. Abigail, you have made the worst mistake of your life. You gonna keep the baby. Mm. So, 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 so. You say it's Chad. They say it's Stephen. How the fuck you gonna convince Chad this his child? Cause you know Stephen can't control himself. And somehow he convinced you to keep that damn baby. All I can say to you, Gabby, Abigail, good luck. <laughs> you already about you already about lost him by being on top of his brother. Now you gonna risk it with the child? Mm -hmm. Abigail, have fun, enjoy. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. Well, at least you is playing your cards right. You telling Chad before Big Mouth tell him that you pregnant. So you is starting off right, I guess. Anyways, though, y'all, that was the episode. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. I'll see y'all later. Enjoy the rest of y'all day. Bye.